Beleza, começou o pet note deles. Vamos tirar a musiquinha. Começou o patch notes. É um dia muito legal hoje porque temos muita coisa que saiu no OB37 que estamos felizes de mostrar para vocês. E queremos ir direto para o meat of it, guys. Então, por que não começamos primeiro com alguns dos novos conteúdos? Tem algo que eu acho que é uma chave muito grande. O que é chamado? Mammoth Chest? Colossal Chest. Oh, ok. Sim. Ok. Ok. Já estão mostrando o baú novo ali, hein? Tem, ó. Uou. Uou.Uou.Uou.Uou.Uou.Uou.Uou.Uou.Uou.Uou.Uou.Uou.Uou.Uou.Uou.Uou.Uou.Uou.Uou.Uou.Uou.Uou.Uou.Uou.Uou.
goals yeah. of the new reworks where mm -hmm. this is the first map that the uh, the map team and everyone working in that area is going to be touching but as we move forward there will be the other maps that we're kind of going and adding them as armadilhas ali uma serra esmagador de coisas toras de madeira será que aquilo funciona de fato dentro do jogo seria bem legal né sem o adversário ali ele acaba sendo esmagado seria bem legal He's gonna make it very clear where you are. See, we're getting in game on it. We're gonna ride along with Evie. She's got the most mobility. See that Winter Witch in action here. Yeah, let's see. Let's Nossa, muitas mudanças gráficas, inclusive. But look at the lighting, just you know, to start off. Muitas mudanças gráficas. You could tell already the rays of light coming out from the canopy of the forest there already added. O mapa tá realmente bem bonito. Colocaram muitos efeitos ali. That the art team did here. California redwood. Cassie yeah, as you Makoa. can see, there are a bunch of new hazard uh, ground so you could fall off and die over on this side of the map. Got to watch out for Makoa is going to be hanging out over here. Cassie, Bomb King is going to be poppy bombing you off this way. So this is a new, this used to be all closed off. So that's definitely, you got to kind of think twice before you head along the side there. And like we mentioned, the Now, new whoa, portals. Nick, what's this? What is this going to be doing? <laughs> These are making a comeback, these portals. So there is the stairs to get up, but the portal is also here. Eles colocaram um portal de volta que te leva lá para cima. Here. Basicamente, aquele portal uh, uh, before it was like almost not worth because by the time you got all the way naquela, around, naquela all fase do gelo, né, de empurrar o carrinho, to você tinha um portal que te leva para cima, você tem um portal. Agora nessa fase a gente vai ter também. É uma pena, não funciona, né? Achei que ia funcionar, então... Não vai dar certo. Achei que você poderia empurrar seu adversário ali, entendeu? Vamos empurrá-lo naquela serra, mas não podemos, podemos serrá-lo no meio. Some, some newer viewers may not be familiar with exactly what that means. Can you just walk us through what that actually is? Yeah, so we're going to be using that, like the saw blade. I'm sure that'll kind of become into its own. It's like a landmark thing that you say, okay, Knesset's peak. Agora a gente I'm tem ali o, o, o sol, né? A luz do sol invadindo. But you can also find Mais sombras agora na parede. As coisas vão ficando complicadas para quem tem um PC um pouco mais modesto, porque a cada atualização que passa, eles vão colocando mais coisas para de efeito no jogo e o jogo vai se tornando pesado. É uma boa estratégia, é uma boa estratégia porque torna o jogo um pouco mais legal, né? Agora pode ser um problema para quem não tem um PC para rodar o jogo. Aí e você vai ter uh, esse, esse pequeno probleminha aí so, de ter que jogar no mínimo e às vezes o mínimo não vai ser o suficiente. Bem complicado essas informações. When he doesn't get picked in ranked, this is where Bomb King goes. Alyssa, what are your favorite thoughts about this patch? I mean, this this map. Oh man, I just love it. I think all the the environment artists did such a good job on it. I'm excited to see what they do next. I mean, it really does feel like a timber mill now. Mm. I mean, what yeah. is that? I guess that's a doll. That a little wood doll. <laughs> little wood cut. One of those like wood dolls. All the little nooks and crannies. Like, there's a lot to explore. I know there's some going to be some fast-paced paladins action going on, but it, when I'm in this map, oh, it's I'm, a target I'm dummy. I'm gonna want oh, to dirt. look at some of these things because <laughs> artists they love to put those little Easter eggs yeah, and some yeah. of this new rework stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's a little bit. Evie Moden giving us that tactical BM. <laughs> that's right. Third person perspective. I'm there. all about that hazard, that hazard cliff mm. edge side. Yeah, that's, that's going to be great for Cassie, best, for Makoa. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, it might actually open up some of the champions that maybe we don't see as much on Timber Mill. Morre. It may give, hey, Makoa is a real reason to get back to the map. map. Yeah, né? So that's going to be pretty exciting. Sure. Seria interessante se você pudesse atravessar o mapa ali e desse a volta por aquele caminho. Eles estão falando algo sobre ser, trocar um personagem que você selecionou durante o jogo, que é algo que já acontece no Overwatch. Não sei se é isso que vai acontecer, tá? Mas eles estão comentando sobre esse, essa possibilidade. 
de se trocar o personagem durante a partida. O que eu acho que seria ruim, porque o interessante do Paladins é justamente você ter o personagem e jogar com ele a partida inteira. Você trocar o personagem durante a partida vai ficar bem complicado. You can now pick these and then trade them to your teammates before you go into game. So you can just worry about getting the draft, picking the champions you need to pick when they're available and when you need to get them, and then worry what? I'm just laughing because if someone said that, he's like, yo, dude, I'm the best Fernando in the world. You can stand, he's like a bronze Fernando. <laughs> yeah. You can't see his border. You trade it to him and the border picks. just turns bronze. It's like, it's like, <laughs> bruh. No, but yeah, this is definitely going to help um, competitive ranked. This is a big quality of life change for that. That's gonna be awesome. So that's just a quick general change, and that will. No, no caso, é mentira. Eles não estão falando isso não. Eles estão falando do competitivo de você poder trocar, como se fosse no Smite, você fazer aquela troca de um cara. Eu jogo bem, ele, tá, ele acabou de falar ali, eu jogo bem de Fernando e eu quero que você pegue ele para mim para poder trocar. Então. Eu não entendi direito porque eu não entendo bem de inglês, mas pelo que eu entendi ali, ele estava falando sobre questões de trocar o personagem no lobby durante o competitivo. Cara, que merda, eu não sei porra nenhuma de inglês. Um, the normal one is going to unlock all champions like the previous Founders pack, and then you're also going to get the Ares Fernando skin and Preciso the Flaming Warhorse, same as the Founders pack. Um, but then the Epic Founders or the Epic Champions pack, excuse me, you're still going to unlock all champions, but you're also going to get 15 chests, um, 800 crystals, one seven-day booster, and then the Fernando skin and the mount. Um, and that nice. is a $35 pack, and nice. then the regular Champions pack is $20, just like the Founders pack. And then finally, we have a $60 or a $60 legendary pack, and it comes with a lot. It unlocks all the champions. You get 40 chests, the whole Nightbane Cassie set, uh, 1,500 wow. crystals, one 30-day booster, and then the Fernando skin and the mount. So gimme, lots gimme. more options, yeah, to kind of customize however you want. So. I also, I also really like that uh, if you're really into Paladins and you want to, you know, invest into it, there's that option to go, you know, that extra level and get that extra tier of, of mm -hmm. cool stuff. Um, but of course, without further ado, I think it's time. I think all of you know that this is the big one. It's spaced out enough, so you know you got to be waiting. Where's the new champion? Well, I am happy to tell you that he has arrived, and it is Sha Lin. The no desert personagem win. tá sendo apresentado hoje. That is Sha Lin right there. He is the archer going to be coming into Paladins in OB37. <laughs> Beautifully designed. Só tem isso dele. Awesome kind of set that takes you Come back on. to a lot of different areas in the world actually. Agora sim. And we're yeah. actually able to jump into them in game. So, Alyssa, Aqu aquelas imagens ali embaixo, galera, não são as imagens uh, definitivas das habilidades, yeah, tá? So you can see Cassie right now. You might be saying, "Oh, another archer." This is as you can see with that draw, he's more of that true archer sense where he has the full true draw with the gravity on his arrows, all that good stuff. And, right, right. Yeah. His left mouse button, the uh, the great okay. bow, basically you just nada click de novo, and you né? hold as long as you want. And the further you hold, um, the more damage you're going to do. Okay. And there's also gravity fall off, just like on a normal arrow. So okay. if you hold longer, it's going to shoot straighter. Whereas if you just like a shot, Será que que just macho? the gravity fall off is going to be pretty intense. So. Yeah. So if you're just spam clicking, you're not going to get. Uh, much damage out of it, right. it's just going to fall almost Flappy, right. noodle, Flappy noodle damage, basically. Yeah. Right. So <laughs> the damage range is going to be 1.5 seconds for a full draw. Okay. The damage will start off at 300, scaling up to 1100, and the range is 450 feet. So he's got some of the longest range mm -hmm. currently in Palins. You can hold your draw indefinitely, but you will be penalized 30% move speed slow while you are drawing or holding your fully drawn arrow. Now I was just going to ask about that. So obviously you take a little bit of a penalty if you decide to go for the yeah. full draw and you're going to have to line that up, but probably Tira good bastante if you're dano. Eu não sei se isso é só a apresentação do personagem, tá ligado? Um, and that's what you're saying is there's no reason there's no flip side. Okay. Okay. So that's not something you have to worry about. Tira bastante another dano, that's não tem munição. <laughs> Arrows forever. Então você não tem uma quantidade uh, de tiros, so, porém é aquela coisa, uh, você vai atirar. Right é, vai ter uma espécie de, de carregar o yeah, tiro, né? Arrow, um, você começa a puxar, a mira vem concentrando, concentrando, concentrando. 
E aí você um, dá um dano maior. Não tem uma quantidade de tiros. Então você pode concentrar, você tem os tiros e você vem concentrando eles. Pra quem tá chegando agora, esse é o novo personagem do Paladins que tá sendo apresentado. Ah, e tô mostrando as habilidades dele, tá? Ele volta e entra Stealth. Um, but he leaves an image of himself there, Olha, ele actually. fica... Yeah. And so he's deposing right now, but he'll ele... do like a peace sign and all kinds of cool Will he be little... moving? Uh, um no, just stay espantalho. still, stay stationary. Um, so that's pretty cool, just to kind of confuse the enemy. And Pode confundir os adversários com esse espantalho dele. So a stealth on this archer, Nick, talk e ele fica stealth, tá? <laughs> durante um certo this. tempo, There's ele fica another, invisível another durante um certo mechanic. tempo. Esse tempo que ele tá assim, ó, illuminate. ele fica invisível. Um, reveal stealth targets at a greater range. So that will definitely, it's not only for Sky now, it's for Shaolin and like Alyssa mentioned, uh, the clone. It's obviously probably not going to fool anyone if they see you do sure. it, but as soon as, as soon as you break around a corner, maybe block their mobility with your impaler arrow and then deploy away. Yeah. With that declone, if they didn't see you run away, they're not going to know. And they're yeah. just going to think you're standing there. It's a good way to get away fast, especially since he is stealth. Ah, o tempo de invisibilidade dele não é tão alto, né? Mas é complicado, vai, ele pode criar essa distração aí com esse clone dele e, e atirar, né? Dá tempo dele carregar o tiro dele. I mean, just art-wise, I mean, Pretty such a good job was done me. with this champion. Uh, and even from the sands of, of, feels like sands of, of, of just time and space, right? Just flowing through after his uh, mirage disappears. Estranho, It's such a cool theme for this champion. So I'm, I'm really excited to play him. Now, the Q ability is not ready to show, but I do want to ask, what is the purpose of it? What does it do? Alyssa, maybe you can give us a general breakdown of what his Q is. Yeah, Q is planted. Um, basically, Shaolin plants himself in place and becomes stationary. Okay. Um, but while he's stationary, his draw time on the bow is 65% faster, and he fires continuously. Mm. Like, uh, as long as he's holding down left mouse button, he draws, fires, fires, fires. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's pretty intense. So, so <laughs> what's the, can we see his draw right now? How long is the draw? The draw time is about 1.5 seconds, okay. so 65% reduced during that. And this is going to be great for if you're going against like a death volley type of cop and you're wanting to break that. Right. And they're, if they're not, the thing about death balls is oftentimes they just want to sit there and not really be super aggressive. Of course. So if they're not punishing you for your, because this is a squishy character, standing still is dangerous in a shooter. It's Absolutely. very dangerous to do so. So on this squishy character, if you're not being punished, if they're just ignoring you, This ability is going to do so much work against those death volley types of comp for just shredding through them. I mean, he's going to do full 1100 damage shots for three and a half yeah. seconds. 65% faster. Cara, tira muito dano esse tiro dele. Se, se isso for o parâmetro de dano dele, né? Mas tira bastante dano. Let's put it this way. 
at this point, it could kill a Fernando, a Ying, and a Sky standing together in mm, one done. activation of that ability. Take down every single version of their health and end their life. So this guy is, is got that machine gun power, potentially. We'll see exactly how it makes yeah. out into the game. Uh, of course, a couple of Gonna minor be high adjustments. Risk, high, yeah. high risk, high reward. High risk, high exactly. Cheat, okay. um, so his ultimate, though, we want to get to that. What's the E ability, and how does it work? The money maker. Yeah, so the ultimate is actually a really good escape ability as well. It's Heat Haze, and Shaolin enters stealth and gains 30% movement speed for 8 seconds. Um, wow. And then while it's active, he draws his bow 50% faster. And then this is the really cool thing. He le leaves an image of himself behind. Every two seconds, Essa daí é a ultimate dele, tá? Ele so, ganha velocidade de movimento. Multiple, multiple, multiple. And this is a good time to get away. You can keep firing while you're running. You e know, fica enemies, stealth, sort of aparentemente. Like Não tenho certeza. So. Wow. Wow. So, I mean, Nick, pretty much the only time, <laughs> yeah. the only time you are ever exposed is right when you're firing, right? That's right. It's it's more of like a, a radar ping. Think of it that way. When okay. you fire, you will leave that, and they will know where you are at the time of your fire, but your movement speeds increase, and you're still stealth. Your actual character remains stealth and much faster than the base movement speed. So they'll get a ping of where you were, but you're probably long gone. Aparentemente ele ganha movement speed e fica e fica stealth, né? So let's see that. Maybe let's see what that distance does for him here as he tries that ultimate one more time. It seems like that's going to allow him to really position correctly. Like for me as a sniper, part of it is like when people get on you, having a good position is um so crucial. Se and with his amount of damage he can output, Porque... and also just the distractions of the illusions, yeah. but the, the quick positioning, the secondary stealth, seems like he's going to be very, very vital on this yeah. combat. Another here. big thing here, like you mentioned, when you're sniping, when you're peeking, if you're stealth, the, the enemy, you know, Knesset or whoever's trying to snipe you out is going to have no idea when you're actually peeking because you're just remaining in stealth for the entire duration mm -hmm. of this. Uh, one thing that one thing is pretty funny actually. Dry Bear did this to me in a playtest. He he popped this, went around a corner, and just started spamming arrows just to get the, the terracotta army going up there. <laughs> like, like pop it and then just start spamming arrows. Just the, the uh, basically doing the lowest fire, not drawing fully, right? Yeah, and it just spawned so many little clones all around the room. It was hilarious. And, and he can so soak out my clones, man. Oh my the god. Será que? And then stand still and fire yeah. that last finishing you get, shot. You right? get bamboozled. You're just <laughs> like, I, I give up. I have no idea. <laughs> Sério que é para voltar esse clone? My goodness gracious. So well, much fun. Está bugado, né? Sim. Jumping into the battlefield very soon in patch OB37 and Terracotta Army just <laughs> the Sand Army has arrived. It has arisen. So, Será que pode soltar esse tanto clone? I want to see in game. I cannot wait. I'm sure you all at home can't wait to try him out. He's going to be the next one available. And of course, with those founders packs we talked about, if you want to get all Lol. champions for free forever. Ah, mas tá aí o personagem é legal, o personagem. Eu não vou jogar bem com ele porque eu sou ruim com o personagem que tem que ficar mirando. Mas me pareceu um personagem bem interessante. Vai ser muito usado. Então, cada patch nós nos chamamos no Reddit e no Twitter e perguntamos à comunidade se eles têm algumas perguntas. Nós temos algumas perguntas hoje. A primeira pergunta é: será que haverá eventos similares de XP durante o Christmas? Como nós fizemos com o Octobre de Christmas. Agora eles estão respondendo perguntas ali: agora eles estão respondendo perguntas ali: se vai ter um evento de XP durante o Natal. Okay. Is have more events just because we've had such a good response to so people have really enjoyed having the different rewards every weekend. So that's definitely something we're going to look at in the future. So. Great. Um, the next question is: Is the pumpkin skin limited or exclusive? And this is a limited skin. It's going to be available uh, until the end of November. So after that, it is that's, gone. That's a difference. So yeah, for sure. So I skin pumpkin. Definitely get it before November because it is limited. Limitada, tá? E ela acaba neste mês ainda. Oh, o que? Nick, o que? Eu diria que Grover, realmente. Sim, claro. Isso vai te perder suas chances, cara. Eu estou surpreso que você não vai para o Fernando. Será que é só isso? Se eu fosse alguém mais em vida real, eu não sei se eu fosse uma pergunta. Alright, Alyssa, what about you? Oh god, for me, probably Bomb King. I just love Bomb King so much. You guys are going outrageous. I would have, I thought like Sky or something like that. He's so jovial and fun and happy. That's true. He seems like he's got a fun, like, he's a fun party. You want to be friends with Bomb King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He seems like he's a good, entertaining guy. I don't know who I would be. I definitely wouldn't be Pip. He's a little too small, a little too furry. I might be... Vox would be Pip. Se você pudesse ser um campeão, qual campeão você seria? Eles estão respondendo aquelas perguntas ali. 
Shaolin. Shaolin is dope, man. Yeah. I feel like he's got that vibe. Qual campeão que eu sou? Eu seria o Beric, com certeza, se eu pudesse ser um campeão. Eu seria o Beric. Com certeza. You could be any champion. Na realidade. That's great. And uh, obviously Nick and I run a lot of the esports for Paladins, cast for that. Uh, Nick, I think we have something Agora a pergunta sobre o competitivo, eu mal sei sobre o competitivo. Eu acho que eu vou tentar é... Acho que eu vou tentar explorar um pouco o competitivo brasileiro de Paladins. Não explorar de jogar, tá ligado? Acho que eu vou tentar pegar mais informações e ficar sabendo um pouco mais sobre o competitivo brasileiro de Paladins. Porque tem uma galera tão legal participando, tem uma galera tão bacana fazendo conteúdo de Paladins aqui no Brasil. Acho que vale a pena a gente apoiar o competitivo brasileiro de Paladins. Quem manda essas perguntas pra ele, gente? Pelo amor de Deus, só pergunta boba. How much wood would a wood buck buck if a wood buck could buck wood? And my answer is two and a half Grovers worth. Yeah, I think he'd I think he'd buck it all. Buck it all? Yeah. That's right. I think he'd he'd buck as much as he could. But how much? Two and a half Grovers. How much would he buck? I don't know. That's exactly how much. Two and a half Grovers? Okay. Precisely. Galera, muito obrigado a todo mundo que está assistindo Tem 286 pessoas assistindo Salve para todo mundo que pediu salve uh, Eu estou evitando ler o chat hoje Porque está muito chato ficar lendo o chat Muita gente fludando, joga outro jogo Tira esse jogo, faz isso, faz aquilo E isso está me deixando realmente mal Eu espero que vocês entendam